Okay, so one of the uses of the present subjunctive is uh, with this phrase, para que. Um, so let, let's talk about an important rule that has to do with a lot of the present subjunctive um, triggers or uh, rules and constructions that, that we use them for. It's the concept of a subject change. So if I, I being one subject, want you, you being another subject, to do something, then that's a subject change because I and you are, are different. If you want me to do something, that's also a subject change. Um, and, and so, um, also, if, if I am doing something for myself, then, then I don't have a subject change. So that's what, where this example on the left comes in. Estoy estudiando español para poder comunicarme con los peruanos en mis vacaciones. So, <clears throat> I am studying because I want to speak to the, the Peruvians on my vacation. So, since it's I and I, that's not a change, same subject all the way through, we just use para. So, I would never say, yo estoy estudiando para que. Yo. Nope, since it's the same, I just use para. Now, para que is when there's a change in subject. So, let's take a look at this example. Yo, so that's I, Les estoy enseñando a ustedes, so that's you all, um, español para que puedan comunicarse con los hispano hablantes. So, this time it's me teaching you so that you can communicate. So, I was the subject at the beginning, para que you all. You all is the subject of the second part of that sentence. So anytime it's it's the same subject, it's para. If it's a change in subject, it's para que, and we have to use the subjunctive puedan here. The a r the a n ending on an e r verb poder is subjunctive. So um, if if I if I said um, my brother uh, is studying so that he can talk. It would be, mi hermano estudia español para hablar. Again, no change of subject, no para qué. Now, if, um, if my wife were studying uh, so that, or if my wife were teaching so that her students, again, that's going to be a change in subject because she and they are two different subjects. Ella enseña, enseña para que sus estudiantes puedan hablar español. Again, that's going to be subjunctive because there's a change in subject. So, again, anytime it's the, f the first part of the sentence before that para is, is one subject, and after it's a different subject, you use para que. If it's the same subject, and it doesn't matter which of the subjects it is, it could be yo, it could be el, tu, it could be nosotros, any one of those, if it's the same subject, para, if there's a change, then it's para que.